are you? Good, how are you? I'm so excited to see you. Me too. <laughs> Your art is gorgeous. Thank you. Thank gorgeous. you so much. <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> you would think I had the book ready. <laughs> I was just so excited to get logged in. I'm like, wait. Okay, yeah. my book. So tell me about that. When I, um, you know, I sold the book to Joy and Joy loves you, by the way, McMillan, the whole team just loves you so much. Thank you. Um, and she, you know, we're looking at illustrators and they presented your name and then, you know, your website or your site to look at. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is going to be perfect. Your work is so colorful and energetic and, and that's just the samples. And then when I saw your sketches and what you did, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like she was in my head. Um, just the imagery, the type, oh my goodness. The, the house that you chose to put them in, <laughs> but then you went so far beyond with this STEM theme. Like I did have some STEM elements. Like I had, I think I had a, an art note that said, um, uh, the scientific method, like for one of the things, but then you just like took it. I don't even know if you saw that art note. Um, I did it. I did. This is my first time hearing it. They actually stripped it down. <laughs> yeah. I think for the seek study try. Yeah. I, in parentheses, I was like, you know, um, this is like the scientific method, but right. you got it anyway. And you made him a STEM kid. And <laughs> I, I just, I just love this so much. Tell me, what was your um, response like when you got the manuscript? How how did that all you know happen? Well, my agent um, Alice Garinger, she's she's amazing, and she she knows pretty much my taste for everything for for manuscripts and books. And she came to me. She's like, I have this great book for you, and I was like, Okay, let's see it. And I read it, and I was like, Oh my god, I have to do this because when I read it, it was like the warmest the warmest feeling. It felt like a hug. And I was like, where was this when I was little? Like, this is so perfect. And you did such an amazing job with it. Like, this is definitely something, like, I, I have a new baby niece. And this is something that, like, I'll read to her. You know, it's so uplifting. It's so empowering. It's perfect. And I was like, okay, I need to do this. Like, I could start to, uh, I started to imagine it as soon as I read it. And I was like, please let me do this. Like, I hope, I hope they go with me. Like, I really want to do this. <laughs> Yeah, is yeah. that how you know that a project is for you? You start to see the the imagine the illustrations automatically. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So, um, so when I read it, I was like, I I I love this so much, and I always like to put a little bit of myself into it, like just just like life stuff into it. I try to. Um, <laughs> it is kind of funny like we're we're friends on instagram so like i scrolled your instagram and then like i noticed that you were an aka right okay i was gonna ask yeah you know, <laughs> and i was like mom, i was gonna make the, the mom an aka the <laughs> there you go yeah so i try to put like little little bits into it from like real life because i feel like that's what makes the book relatable so like oh. little stuff like that like just just stuff from imagination, stuff from real life. And if, if I start to see that while I read it, then I'm like, yeah, this this is the project. Fantastic. What what of yourself did you put in it? Oh my goodness. Um okay, so I, I'm I, I'm gonna get okay. the book. It's like right behind me. Okay, so in the end papers, which I love doing by the way, end papers are one of my favorite parts of, of a of a picture book. Gorgeous, like, gorgeous. Thank you. There's like the um the choir robe. These are actually modeled after the choir robes, the youth mask choir robes that I used to wear. Really? Uh, <laughs> yeah. When I was when I was a kid, I was like, oh, he has to be on the choir. Oh, so yeah. um, it's just like re real life stuff like that. I mean, you did the same with all of the the details. I love um, like I said, you carry that theme that he. We know that he loves uh space. Yeah. Like uh, astrology yeah. and and not astrology, but um, mm -hmm. uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, um, astronomy. Astronomy. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Astronomy. He loves astronomy. Um, he's artistic, right? Mm -hmm. Um, he's uh, kind, loving, curious. Yes. Curious. I just love how you just captured all of that, and the family is so loving. 
How'd you get into illustration? Um, <laughs> it's, it's a serendipitous journey for me. Um, I started off um, in college. Well, I started off at Temple University um, in Philly. I was an architecture major and mm. I absolutely hated it. I thought I would love it and I hated it. And then I was kind of like taking stock of what I love doing. I was like, well, I love illustrating. I've always, you know, watched animated things. So um, I ended up transferring to University of Art, uh, which was actually down the street. It was also in Philly. It was, they were both on Broad Street. Temple okay. was on North Broad. UArts was on South Broad uh, in the Avenue of the Arts. So I ended up transferring and I took an illustration class in my senior year. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is Mm. This is it. Like even more than the animation core classes and all the major classes I had to take, I took the um, illustration class and I was like, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes. So and you're still using the animation part. I see you animate stuff on. I on do. Social media. I've been getting back into it. I'm like, look at me using my uh, using my degree. Um, <laughs> but I've I've been doing it, you know, a little a little bit, especially for for social media things. Um, yeah. I, I feel like people like a little bit of like I made a little bit of like the GIF and movement kind of thing. But yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Visual bling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm going to, uh, or I think you can share your screen. Okay. So show us some of your process. Okay. Okay. So I'll start with the thumbnails. Um, usually... I don't start with thumbnails. I usually go directly into sketches, but this time I was like, let me let me just make these little sketches and let me try to feel out the the timing of the book. Okay. Um, maybe like how things are assembled on the page because usually I don't know whether it's like a full page illustration or like a spot. So mm -hmm. let me just play around with this first. And this is actually this what yeah. I came up with and uh, and a lot of a lot of these actually ended up being in the book they did I'm looking at that most of them yeah most so like the the swing at first and I had the idea of um the little guy I think we named him um he has a J name I think it's yeah, Justin. Jane, uh, uh, Justin yeah it so Justin Justin, <laughs> Justin looking <laughs> Justin looking in the mirror um uh, Justin helping with um, house chores, um, dancing and like the the other spots, and had the idea of of the sciency like the um, solar system, and um, yeah, so a lot of things. Oh, like sitting at the window, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, the mom looking in the the soccer game like all, yeah. all all those things were like really really close to how it actually turned out which is pretty cool it is cool um, because I actually I I forgot that I did thumbnails and I was like wait a minute what what are these and I looked I'm like oh my god I did yes yeah and I bet and, it was cool to see how how much um stayed the same yeah 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 and then um and I forgot about how first First, he was a little older, and then I remember I got the notes like age him down a bit. Um, he's a little he's a little smaller. So okay. first, I had like the idea of, um, like a like a little election, like a little uh like a class president or something. Mm -hmm. And then I remember Naomi emailed me and was like, "That's great, but like he's a little younger, so maybe they wouldn't be having class elections at that at that age. So maybe it'd be something like a solo or like a." And I was like, "Oh, that's it." <laughs> yeah <laughs> right right that's it so um and it was um it was cool to kind of revise here so you could kind of see that's what I was thinking but he was older right in this right. version right. um but I did clean it up um uh -huh. just to make sure that you know that wasn't what we wanted I just wanted to make sure that it, it it looked okay and they're like no let's go with the younger version okay okay and that's okay. how we um and it ended up with the little guy yes <laughs> yeah and i remember this one specifically um a, a lot of times um i do i do a sketch and it might work like the things and it work but i might have to change the composition 
Mm -hmm. And I remember for this one specifically, they're like, well, maybe you should move the dresser and then you should move where Justin is and maybe like adjust where the mom is so that mm -hmm. it fits better on the page. And, okay. uh, but it's, so it's basically like the same illustration, but. It, right. But, Just rearranged a couple of things. Yeah. 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 But it's, um, I it. thank you. It's, it's fun. That one pretty I, much say the same. I <laughs> love this illustration. Like, thank I, you. I was like little Michael Jackson or something. I, I yeah. love this <laughs> illustration. <laughs> Especially because like we used to dance with our kids, um, it was they were probably a little bit younger especially but yeah before bedtime and yep <laughs> uh, yeah we used to dance with them it's just so fun yeah I, this. <laughs> I like it. It, it was fun for me to do I'm like okay um I think I can't remember the original sketch I, actually I can go back they were dancing but it wasn't like a full it wasn't a it was full a spread okay yeah right yeah. it was just a spot and then um Naomi said oh well maybe you should make that like two pages and you should make it you should make them actually like in the living room and I was like okay no that's 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 perfect I could do that it works so well they are rocking it yeah <laughs> they are rocking it they have their little um their little uh speaker and everything <laughs> and you know what your architecture I mean I know interior design and architecture is two totally different things but I can see I mean you're your your character, the mom, she's always fly with her attire. <laughs> I know you didn't get that from my Instagram. <laughs> Stop. And, and then the, the decor, the home decor, I'm like, ooh, I would love that. I want that. I want that. So your your, your background and you know all of that design uh, comes through. Yeah, thank you, thank you. It's it's fun for me. It's it's fun to kind of like shop for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's it's fun for me. That's that's. That's one of the best parts of the process. I feel like I say like everything is like one of the best parts of the process. Like I enjoyed the different parts of the process, but it, it is fun for me. Yeah. Um are what was your what was your favorite spread out of out of all the spreads? And maybe I could go through the sketches and everything. Oh my gosh. Okay. My favorite. And I, I love Lil Michael, little little Justin, aka Lil Michael Jackson. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pick this one. So Oh, or, the stargazing one? Yeah, the, the it's not this um oh the museum one? Yeah, it's it's like the whole thing. Okay. The thinker you are, a mind full of wonder. You want to know what, how, and why. Sometimes I'll have answers, sometimes I won't. Um, and then the next page says, keep wondering, seek, study, try. Wisdom will come by and by. Um and this was, you know, well, the whole book was inspired actually when my youngest daughter was getting ready to go to college. She was a senior in high school. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, she's she's just, she's just always done so well in, in, in school and in so many areas of her life. But she was so nervous mm -hmm. because when you're applying to colleges and trying to apply for scholarships and worrying, is this good enough? Am I good enough? And, and all of that. And so I, um, it was my role during that time to try to keep her encouraged and like, you know, you are, you know, you are great just as you are, you know, if they don't see it, it's on them. And, you know, so this book kind of, um, kind of sprang out of that, the things that, you know, I, I did say to her, the things that I would have wanted to say to her, but maybe I didn't have the words at that right. particular moment. Right. And so, um, so then the, the spread that says, you know, sometimes I'll have answers, sometimes I won't. And how you turn that into um, this particular visual. I, 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 I do love that. I do love that. So you said you were going to uh, show us thanks. something like how you came up with that. Oh, yeah. I'll go through the okay. sketches. Yeah. But that's perfect because I was going to ask you, like, what what inspired the book? Because, you know, I see I see the manuscript. I see, you know, like everything behind the scenes from illustrating it but like I wasn't there when you came up with it so I'm like what 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 mm -hmm. was it <laughs> mm -hmm. that's perfect exactly yeah that's perfect I love it yeah and it's so cool to hear it like directly from you you mm -hmm. know yeah I'm sitting here like it's story time for me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like oh yay I'm ready yeah. <laughs> here we go mm-hmm um, that's actually a spread that I've wanted, 
like a scene that I've wanted to illustrate for a while. Mm. And sometimes, um, sometimes like I'm, I'm working on projects and then I want to do personal art too on the side. And sometimes, you know how like you just keep like a little bookmark, like in, in your brain, you have mm -hmm. like a little file, like you keep it back there. And, um, and then I had to come up with like a new sketch and I was like, oh, since he's so sciencey, since he's like yeah. a STEM kid, it'd be perfect if they were just. If like I use that idea of just like sitting outside and just like looking at the sky, just looking at mm -hmm. the night sky. Um yeah. and it's perfect too because um a lot of the the setting for this isn't it's not I, I didn't think of it being like suburb or like rural ish. It's more like a city setting, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. like from the from the houses and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um so I thought it would be cool for them to have like an outing. To yeah. go somewhere with like a lot of like a wide open space and to just like look at the sky together because they have so many so many cool uh like outings and stuff as like mother and son. So okay, so they're out, you know, it's very interesting. I just assumed they were in their backyard. But, wow, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can you know what I can see that too. Yeah, like yeah, have, like, okay. Was, yeah. So I the way I was thinking they went to like I don't know, like maybe like a park or like a yeah, yeah, like a like a open space, and then they had their little blanket. Yes, and they did. They just sat outside and looked up at the stars. Yes, because they started out at the park. I think they they're at that park quite often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and this and then so you took this and adjusted it and made it the cover. Yeah, for the book as well. Yeah. Which oh, let's talk about the cover. I have the different versions of the cover. Oh, too. okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes <laughs> the cover. So I actually um came up with three cover sketches uh for both the back cover and the front cover mm -hmm. so there's one two mm -hmm. and three ah! <laughs> so cute <laughs> that is so always cute. have like um i always um, think I know which ones like yeah. the team's gonna pick, but I, I for this one I say like, I think it's gonna be this one. Oh, but did actually, you really? Okay, yeah, but but for this one makes sense, like with the mm -hmm. whole like yeah, a, you know, astronomy thing and, and science and stuff. Uh -huh. So, yeah. but I but I think I'm probably gonna see that that bottom one in some other book that you do because that is so cute. <laughs> oh, thank Just you. The kid on top. Oh, that's so. Cute. <laughs> I got I gotta um um take note for that one. Because uh -huh. <laughs> and it also shows like their relationship because they're really close. I love I yeah. love drawing that one. That was yeah. fun. But that middle one, it does the same thing. It shows her her looking at him, how you know she how he is her best thing. She loves him, and it looks like you know how he is. He really is. He really is growing into um himself. Like yeah. right, like uh, and. And I don't know, the words aren't there on the cover. He's pointing up at all the greatness in you, yeah. i.e. all the greatness in me. Yeah. Right? Um, but it just, I don't know, something about his position in that just shows confidence. It does. Possibility. It, it does. Yeah. Because it seems like he he knows he knows where to look. He knows exactly what he's pointing at. Yeah. And she's like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> yeah. Which is the first line of the book. Look at you. Oh, that's so. true. Yes. I love yes. it. So this was actually the first version of the final art that I came up with. Because I remember I did the the stars and I tried not to do too many stars so it wouldn't be in the way of the words. Mm -hmm. And um I remember. I remember I drew that sweater and I was like, I think the sweater works because maybe it's like yellow like the stars. And I thought that his sweater was, or his little like, I guess it's more like a windbreaker. His little jacket works. And I love that they were just sitting together in the blanket. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember for revisions, um, Naomi and the team, they came back um, and they're like, oh, maybe more like, I forget the word exactly that they use. I think maybe more contrast for the mom's jacket okay and that's actually based on like a real a real jacket that i, I think i saw it on pinterest i was like yeah, oh okay. that's so cute <laughs> yeah yeah you, like i said her fashion is on point <laughs> thank you so 
Um, and uh, Naomi made a note to add stripes, add stripes to the blanket and like just just more um more detail. Like if you notice the grass from this one to this one, it has like more grass. It is like brighter and more and more stars too in the sky. And I thought that was great. And um, I also made the lighting a little better, like a little brighter. You could see, you could see the the um the light on his fro. You see more of his fro and more more of her hair. Just mm -hmm. just the the small subtle things. It 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 really they really can make a make or break an illustration. I think. Yes. Um, but from this to final, um, and I think it's between. Let me listen to that. Oh yeah, Naomi. Naomi designed it. Um, mm -hmm. so Naomi from this to final, I was like, wow, because um, how she made like the Big Dipper mm -hmm. and the different. I was like, oh my god, that's perfect. Yeah, I love it so, so much. So Naomi did that part with the Big Dipper. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I I wasn't sure whether it was like Naomi or Mina, but like I I like to make a note of it. So like whenever I make posts or something, when when it has to do with book design, it said yeah. book design by Naomi. So yeah. very else. So, so, think... so talk to me about um how you work with Naomi and Mina. Who did you know? What are their roles and 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 how did you enjoy working with them? First of all, I I love working with them. They're so great. They they're they're really really great. Um, and I my my point person is Naomi. So whenever I have like revisions or art notes, um, she sends them directly to me. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I met the whole team during a kickoff meeting. Like we had a we had a Zoom call and everything, but I I really um, I talked to Naomi mostly. So mm -hmm. whenever I have to adjust anything, she just she usually like sends me a PDF with all the notes in the PDF, and mm -hmm. then and she also sends me an email with like a list of the and and all the what I love, um, like from her like as an art director. All of her notes are really like straightforward. Mm -hmm. I know exactly mm -hmm. what I'm changing. I know what works and what doesn't. And I love that so much. And it, it makes my job easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it's it's so easy to work with her. So so yeah, that's basically um what happens. It's usually it's usually um just emails back and forth. Like, yeah. okay, this works. Uh, can you change this one? Um, maybe can you can you add can you add something like to the background? Um just stuff like that it's just um just kind of like levels of revisions like yeah revision one it's levels to this thing yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah but 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 i love it though i love revising yeah and um, here's where where i shout out joy working with joy oh yeah yeah i want to hear it what, what what is it like for you as 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 the author um, well, for, first of all, Joy and I go back a ways. She acquired my second book manuscript, um, which was called In a Mood at the time. Uh, it's now My Cold Plum Lemon Pie Bluesy Mood. And um, she acquired it when she was at Viking. And, oh. um, and then she left right before it was fully finished. But then she bought Brown Baby Lullaby for me later. Wow. And now two more books. <laughs> And the thing that I love about um, Joy is that she is so, so just so smart as an editor and looking at all of the angles mm -hmm. and, um, and she is very communicative about what works, which is good. Like we like the sandwich method to tell us what works. Yeah. And she's also very, um, direct but gentle at the same time as yes. to how she communicates areas uh um for improvement right, right. In, in the text um and then she's okay with the back and forth like because like sometimes like I'm like oh yes brilliant obviously duh why not why didn't I do that and then right. other times I'm like well, I'm thinking about it differently. Let's discuss. And she's so open to that and not afraid to say, you know what? You're right. Keep it like that, you know, or yeah. this direction. So yeah. it's just such a collaborative process, respectful. Um, I feel she That's respects important. me as a creative, as an author, respects my voice. And I just, I love working with her. 
Yay! I just, I just, I just, yeah. <laughs> Yay, Joy! Yay, Naomi! <laughs> Go team! <laughs> Go team! Go team greatness! I love it. That's so good. Because it feels like... That's really what it feels like. It, it feels like we have the honest, honest team. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Not yeah. to leave out our agents. No, yeah, no, <laughs> They're part of the team, too. Yeah, yeah. You shout out your agent. Yeah, go Alex. Yes. <laughs> so, so, I love, so, so, final question. Okay. Um, what do you hope readers get or experience in reading all the greatness in you? I want them to feel that warmth and love that I felt when I first read the manuscript. I want them to to after they read the book. They feel like they could do anything. They can accomplish anything. That'd be perfect. Agreed. I love that. Agreed. Yeah. And I would want them to feel loved. Um, that there is greatness inside of, of them. Mm. Um, greatness that is yet to unfold, but it's there. Um. And overall, I just I just really want them to feel value, valued, mm. valuable, seen, and loved. So Yeah. Yeah. And that they can do anything. Like yeah. the one thing that I do lo love about this book, and it might be the first book that I, I actually feel this way about. Okay. Is that it is the the perfect book for new beginnings, right? Mm. And for encouragement. So like First day of school, encouraging our young our young scholars that they can, you know, that it's going to be okay. Our graduates, yeah, you know, yeah, are moving on to that next phase of life, like my graduate, like my young graduate was, and they need that encouragement, right? I see this as a book to, to give to graduates, and with a little note in it from you as as their parent or as their their loved one, you know, yeah, an encouraging note. Um, I think that would be a special keepsake. So I just, this is just such an empowering book and you and your beautiful, gorgeous illustrations thank have you. made it so as well. So I just, I thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> this is, I, I'm just, it, it, it's just, I feel honored to be a part of the project. I do. And you did such an amazing job authoring this really like I'm not just saying that you know how you just say that but no I really mean it it's it's such a beautiful book I love it so much yes thank you and tomorrow is the launch date November 5th so yes. when you go out and, and vote, vote vote if you haven't already <laughs> um then order it <laughs> order all the greatness in you for the loved one a loved one in your life uh, big or small um, request it from the library do all the things um, this is a book of love from from us yes thank you thank you, thank you. It's so great talking to you <laughs> thank you so much I'm so happy to meet you oh my goodness yeah, this is great yeah.